Hello everyone, welcome back to another video for compute practical demonstration. So I hope you remember uh, uh, we discussed this diagram in our previous video and we created Windows instance and uh, in that in the public subnet. So in this uh, practical demonstration, I'll, I'll install uh, Linux instance in the public subnet and I'll, I'll move this uh, elastic IP address to Linux instance and connect this Linux instance. And we will place this Linux instance in public subnet and access it over the internet. And also as a part of uh, this demonstration, uh, let me get back to the slide. So in this uh, uh, practical demonstration for Linux instance, we will uh, log in into AWS console and we will create Linux instance and place it in demo VPC and in public subnet attach EVS volume storage and uh, instance will be placed in public security group and we will connect the Linux instance using security keys and generating private key. This, this is a bit different as compared to Windows instance and then we will install web server and publish the page over the internet as we did in uh, Windows server. So the main objective of this is that uh, creating a Linux inst instance and how easily we can uh, install web server and publish the page over the internet. So let's get back and uh, go to the Win uh, AWS console and create a Linux instance. So here, let's log in, open our console. Let's log in using our Z admin and password. Okay, let's go to EC2 instances and uh, create Linux instance. So as we created Windows instance in our previous instance, public Windows instance, it's running. So let's create a Linux instance. We will select a Amazon Linux 2 AMI and select it. We will select free tire T2 micro with one CPU and one gig RAM. Click on configure instance details. So here we are going to select again, if you remember before demo VPC and place in public subnet, we are going to disable this as we are going to allocate elastic IP address, add storage, storage we are going to attach eight gig in this. Do not uh, forget to check this, delete on termination. Also here we can add another vo volume in this uh, Linux instance as well. So, but as a practical demonstration, we do not require it. So we are not adding it, add tags. So similarly, as we done before department, network, configure security group. So let's select our security group, public security group. So as you see before we have allowed these ports and SSH was already allowed and we can connect the machine. Review the configuration over here and click launch. So we have already created our uh, key pair over here. So we can select that and be key pair two. I acknowledge it and launch instances. So this, uh, if you go to view instances, so it is getting, it's getting ready. And as of now it's uh, pending status. Let's add the name public Linux instance. Sorry. Save. So this will take some time to get initialized and to refresh this page. So it's still initializing. 
so uh, if we go to putty i'll show you how we can use it so before that let's see uh, we can move our elastic ip from windows and to linux instance go to elastic ip address which is already allocated to windows instance so let's associate it to linux instance so now you can see two machines public windows public instance and public linux instance so now we want to connect our linux instance so we are associating this elastic ip to our linux instance let's disassociate before associating to another instance disassociate okay now let's associate to linux instance associate yeah so now this uh, elastic ip is associated to our linux instance coming back to instances so let's see if it is ready it's still initializing it takes some time to pass all the checks and get ready so for the time I, i'll i'll pause this video so our uh, public linux instance is ready and if we see the details of this instance so we can see our public ip elastic ip it is allocated to this linux instance so let's uh, use this okay so coming back to the diagram guys just a overview so we have uh, created our linux instance and uh, placed it in the public subnet and uh, we have moved our elastic ip to the linux instance so let's try to connect to our uh, uh, instance and so going back to so this this ne next step is a bit important like generating private key and uh, let's go to putigen and load our key that was used during uh, creating the instance so we create create used kpnv2 open it okay so save the private key yes so kpnv2 private key so it will be saved as a dot epk save okay so we have saved our uh, private key and uh, let's go to the console and copy the public ip elastic ip that is assigned to this and open putty paste it now go to ssh on auth browse the private key that was generated click on this open and then click open the connection so here use uh, ec2 hyphen user as a user so it is it got authenticated now using our private key so here we can work on it so let's get into sudo su user super user and uh, install all the updates that's this is also important step to update all the pending things that were there so update update the machines with all the required softwares yes so it takes some time to install all the required softwares on the that are important and update the existing ones as well it also installs the uh, aws shell uh, shell also command line interface that we can use it so here all are ready so if you see aws version so see all the these are the different command lines that we can use in aws so aws command line is also installed so you can use it if you want to configure all the infrastructure using these commands so we will use uh, commands in the later classes so let's uh, add web server on this i have uh, created 
copied the commands in the notepad you can use these commands and just copy paste it so that we can save some of our time so install web server on this httpd and uh, check config okay start our service start and let's uh, rename the file that is the default file we, we want to create our own page okay let's create a test page uh, using html this is test page on linux instance okay we are creating it restart the http server okay so our next step is let's uh, we have already copy our uh, public ip address and open it in the console so using this open it http we have already allowed http port in our previous video you can see that in our security group so yes our windows sorry linux instance web server is working so this is the test page that we are accessing so see how easily we can create a web server and publish it over the uh, web and we can access it so that that's all for this video and we created a linux instance and placed it and uh, let's get back to our diagram so placed our uh, just overview what we did in this video we created linux instance and uh, uh move the elastic ip to this one and accessing it publishing the web page as we discussed in our previous video moving to previous video just we what we did so what we did is uh, we created a linux instance and then we uh, created the linux instance in the demo vpc and uh, Uh, attached EBS creation EBS instances behind the security group and we connected it using the uh, generating the private keys I have shown you in the video how to generate the private key out of our key pair and then we installed the web server and published the web page over the internet also we covered the tags that I shown uh, that I was uh, creating in all the videos like uh, all the components that were we were creating we were uh, using department tag and using network so i have shown in the video that how we can uh, see all the components that were tagged to this network and from there we can see how all the components are created in the in our aws infrastructure so that that was all for uh, current video and uh, we can uh, in the in our next videos what we can do is uh, since we have created uh, these two instances so uh, in next video what i'll do is uh, we have two instances and we will install a load balancer over here and uh, balance the traffic out of it to all these instances and access the traffic using this load balancer uh, dns name so this dns will uh, segregate the traffic on these instances then what we do is uh, if uh, load balancer is uh, moving all this traffic to these devices this one instance then we will put this uh, instance to uh, stop stage automatically load balancer will start moving the traffic to another instance so we already have web server on these both instances i have shown in your previous video so we will add load balancer in the next video and that's also industry level uh, use case you will understand how, how load balancer works and how we can create that in the aws instance so thank you for the for this video and uh, i'll i'll see you in the next video thank you thank you very much